instruments across the Palouche have suddenly picked up a subspace power surge of massive proportions coming from somewhere inside of our galaxy. Our scientists are struggling to come up with an explanation for this event. Nothing of its like has ever been recorded. The exact origin of this sudden power surge has yet to be identified, but are still in the process of analyzing the available data. I don't see them within our territory. Um, where will they have popped up is the real question. So we got the... I'm really curious where the maelstrom is. I hope, I hope it's nice and far away. But yeah, uh, welcome back. It's uh, time to deal with the unbidden. This is so exciting. Like, like they're not as they're 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 not as elusive as the Prothorian these days. But I'm having a lot of fun here uh, with this particular setup, and it's uh, it's it's really good to see finally that we have some unbidden within our empire, and I'm uh, well, at least within our galaxy. With a bit of luck, ah, oh, there they are. Point of interest: the portal and the eye anchors. So the massive power surge we detected earlier has been identified. The TEM system. Where is this TEM system? Please tell me it's in the place that I think that I think that it is. No, it's down here. Okay, so it's down here. Uh, in the Kassam. Okay, so... Complete. So it's down here. Oh, and there's an L gate as well. It's right next door to an L gate. <laughs> oh, we could... We could... Um, we could res oh, this is actually really bad. Um... Yeah, this is really bad. All of a sudden, I don't want to open up the L gates anymore. Situation log oh, hello. What's going on there, Unbidden? Feeding ground uh, has apparently been reached, and uh, prey has been, uh, well, uh, enjoy. <laughs> okay, so they're pretty far away. Uh, this... Uh, the Ryup entity is going to have some problems. The Magar citizen regime is going to have some problems. They're actually relatively close by, which is a little bit worrying. But I feel we can handle this. Uh, edict duration modifier, yes. We can, we can, like I said, we can deal with this. I'm not too concerned about this in the long run. We can we can handle this. It's fine. This is fine. If necessary, we'll just park our um, our attack our attack planet inside the 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 L cluster. Anything that tries to come through it will just immediately be smashed. Okay, so we got our natural quote unquote wormhole in here, but this this is also where the gateway is. This planet is most likely not going to live very long, especially if the the maelstrom is in there. Man, that's some good stuff. Okay, so um, how many iodesium crystals do we have? Four out of seven. Oh, and the sleeper's awake. Oh, we got the font of knowledge online. Okay. The directors cannot use subjugation against us. That's great. You guys still at war? No, you are not. Wait, what? Oh, we must be at peace. God damn it. Construction complete. Maybe I can subjugate some something in the meantime whilst whilst we're waiting. 16k minerals, pretty good. Um, how's this here? Dice, dice and sphere coming online. Special projects complete. Ooh, what's this? The energy readings on <laughs> requires precise drilling from our science team, but ultimately, ultimately let them through a vast cavern system. Uh, once inside the team, uncovered a large artificial structure deliberately concealed within. The structure was ambiguously built using space age technology, centuries of ahead what the natives of this planet should be capable of. With this structure, the crew was startled to find countless sleeping pods lining the wall, containing the aliens not only inconsistent with the 
the natives, but also unlike some other, uh, unlike other species known to us. This was a massive st stockpile of advanced military hardware. Uh, resemblance to languages we learned from observing the natives. Our engineers have assessed the situation in reactor control. Uh, yeah, let's stabilize the vault. I want to see where this is going. Um, our fleet is currently... War has been declared. We should probably go and help out our ally, really. How is this, uh... Okay, so... Crew quarters. Uh, the b -b 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 -um. Can we actually get here? No, we cannot. That's great. Okay, so we can't actually help out our ally, and our ships are currently sitting in an area of space where there's no upkeep for them. Uh-oh. Awakening! Despite our best efforts, the reactor rapidly failed. We were able to direct just enough of its collapsing energy to revive a single pod. A scientist rushed to the pod and found an alien who appears to be a worrying a leadership regalia. We have established communications, which proved to be a fairly trivial task since the leader was closely in multiple languages spoken by contemporary natives. More challenging was the severe distress, apparently even across species lines, and we said that we were unable to save all the others. It's space elves. The last... Really? Huh. It's a good thing I got a cup of tea here. Huh. The last. Um, mm -mm, something something firstborn, something something biology genetics, something something upload, update. Yeah, you can expect to see some biotechnology. I don't belong in this world anymore, so I'm like, sure. So we got a new scientist. With a biology bonus, but we already have the Mentat, so we technically don't even need them. Uh, let's take a look at our city ships. Don't we have, like... Hold on. Oh, right. Um, mm -mm -mm. Let's take a look here. And I just realized we have that Orbital Elysium. Oh, yes. 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 Uh, abandoned habitat? What the fuck? Why are there pol pollution on this? Uh, excuse me? Oh! Oh! Okay. We completely, we completely forgot to actually... Do something with this. Um, <laughs> that is a little bit awkward. Uh, yeah, we should probably actually build something on this thing. Uh, b -b -b solar power, like energy, is something we need, really. Oh yeah, we could just right click. I completely forgot about that. A uh, paradise dome. Uh, laboratory, laboratory, leisure. Power, 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 power. That should be good. And ah, here we go. Discovery complex. Uh, isodesium power plant. Isodesium. Okay, so we need zero point nine isodesium for that, which we have four of. So we will build a. We will cancel this one, and we will replace this with a isodesium power plant. You are going to be an isodesium research facility. And then we have a couple more buildings that we can actually do stuff with. So we can build, for instance, the manufacturing district. We can build the... Where are you? The Discovery Complex. And the Arcology. Uh, let's replace this thing then. With the Arcology. And you are going to be... So you're building... 
the discovery complex. And you then... Replace you with the manufacturing district. And that will have to do for now. But this is uh, definitely a planet that we want to put a... Yeah, we, we are, we're doing we're doing orbital assisting. So what's our output actually? Pretty high actually. A lot of social sciences, which is good. It's exactly what we wanted. So 15 adjacency bonuses here. And that's only at the first tier. So that's pretty crazy. So uh, how are things uh, going? Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> I was wondering when that was going to happen. Stormfire autocannon. Oh, uh, let's get some cheap like building templates. Uh, we should also... 19,000 maximize this fleet. We don't. I don't really want to spend that money. I'd rather spend that on the Dyson Sphere or on the Stellar Lifter. The Stellar Lifter is going to be thirty-five thousand. But it will increase. Oh my! It will almost double mineral production. That is insanity. How is? How have we not? No, this this is expensive. Uh, we should probably just park the fleet somewhere else. Whilst we're still in this stupid ass war, um, does this one? Yes, it does. Okay, so we're just gonna send the entire fleet to Hixam. Have it in orbit there, and that should at least balance out our economy a little bit. Ooh, capacity overload, yeah. Ooh. The aliens have united in a federation. Ooh. That's not good. Construction complete. <laughs> there comes the attack moon. <laughs> yeah, everybody, what's going on? Ooh, the, a raid is coming our way. Ooh, well, I doubt they'll live very long. Or depending on what route they're taking, really, I can just intercept them. But some of me, that means that somebody has paid them off to do this raid. I'm not sure if I should be impressed or kind of sort of disgusted. I'm so tempted to open up the L gates, but the... Yeah, I've been in our right next door to set Elgate, which is uh, <laughs> a little bit on the terrifying side. But then again, technology research. It's it's a uh, it's this gateway. Okay, um, industrial ultra rapid replication. Please let me, let me tell me this is gonna go to the um, what does it actually do uh, building speed. Please tell me this is going to go to the the things that I want, as in, you know, being able to rip planets apart. Capacity to overload 25. Okay, so you're just hanging out right now. Let's take a quick look at our planets. Um, what's this? Subterranean ecosystem, right. So, what I want to do is I'm going to send a science ship over towards. What's uh? What do we got over here actually? So our science output here, pretty decent actually. So let's do Trevor's Garden, etc. This is we'll just do a standard colonization thing on the although. I kind of want to move the guys from the abandoned habitat over here. But apparently I'm not allowed, which is a little bit annoying. So, yeah, that's kind of weird. But yeah, we got an orbital Elysium, so. Let's just uh, dynamic core igniter coming along. 
Yeah, pretty decent. So we're almost ready to do capacity overload again. And we are in the midst of getting the, the tiniest planet in the history of pollution online. We got a new leader as well. Who is it? Uh, yes, extend the deal, please. Vazagark has opened their borders. Like, how is this... This machine uprising is not going very well, is it? Like, are you guys having issues trying to bust in the door or something? Like, they're not that strong. Just attack them. Wait, did they open their borders? Hold on. Um, they did open their borders. Okay, let's just take this opportunity to crush our enemies and see them driven before me. And then uh, hear the lamentations of the uh, the women. We will do capacity our overload soon anyway. Upon each other with arms. The Magars. Please, please. Oh, there it is. Finally. Planetary mineral extraction. Yes. Automated strip mine. Come to daddy. 13 months. Oh, yes. Yes. Why, the, why didn't they just... Uh, why didn't the... Mm. I really wish the Unbidden spawned in the middle. How have they not expanded, by the way? What's going on here? Are they struggling or something? Like They can expand in so many directions. Where are all the Elgates, by the way? Uh, contain the, contains an Elgate. Yeah, that's fine. That's a wormhole. Ooh, hello there, Elgate. Right next to the guys that I kind of want to mess around with. Well, my fleets are about the... Well, there's the attack moon. How big is the station? Four point something? Yeah, that's fine. We can easily deal with that. So I will just... Crush our enemies, see them driven before you. Oh, there's an Elgate in here as well. Oh, 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 that's not good. Okay, um. We must defend our spaceport. Oh, this is bad. Um. They are most likely gonna take down my spaceport. Another pointless war has been declared. That is annoying. Construction complete. Well, Trevor, Trevor's raiders will take care of uh, these guys, I guess. Let's get the troops on the ground. I just need a couple of months of uh, of income. Geothermal world. Oh god, they got almost no troops on the ground. We'll send the plush starties down. Construction complete. There we go. Deploying pacification troops. Hostile planet pacified. Finished. <sighs> the colony lost. We've lost. Yeah, that's fine. I don't. I don't really care about that. Uh, I just want to just wrap up this garbage with the Xenos, really. Like how many? How many troops do they have here? They got nothing here either. Like... That's ah, screwed. We're just gonna split up the fleet a little bit. Like, their strongholds are nothing compared to ours, so. Nice try, uh, assholes. I still don't have regenerative hull tissue? Really? Hmm. 
Should probably do something about that. <laughs> Ooh, 50, 50, uh, 54,000 minerals. That uh, makes one wonder whether or not uh, it's time to build something special. Or at least finish something special. I think that would be the right choice to make. You guys uh, in the? Are you on orbit here? Yeah. So this is this is all independent, right? Yeah. This is all allied stuff. Yeah. That's fine. So this system has been taken care of. So let's go over here. <coughs> and this war will be very over very soon. What do you want? Terraforming gases for ten years for a bunch of resources. I'm down with that. I just need 70k minerals, really. Ooh, where did you guys just come from? That's an unbidden fleet. That's several unbidden fleets, actually. Ooh, that is a little bit on the terrifying side. That is a lot closer to home than I am comfortable with. Oh, because this... Oh. Oh, that is... That's bad. That's the motor technology, that is. So, what's going on here? Oh, there it is, finally. Automated strip mine. That's the motor technology, that is. Uh, advanced afterburners. We still didn't have those, apparently. Activate L gate. Yes. Let's do it. Yeah, this is a little bit disconcerting. Because we got the uh, unbidden on our doorstep. And the attack moon is definitely not going to be able to hold that. So let's... Those are the erasers, so let's get the... How many troops are on our ground here? Nothing. Again, nothing. Where are their fleets? They have completely... They have nothing. That is just upsetting. We got orders. Let's go. Ah, it's just annoying, man. You're trying real hard. Let me guess. There's no troops down here either on these two. Okay, so there's 500. There's nothing here. So we'll just... Colony lost. Yeah, I, w I already knew about that. Uh, sure. So let's get our capacity overload. 66,000. Edict durations and amorphs. Cool. Yeah, we should really take this very quickly. Oh, right, that's right. I completely forgot about that. We have unity ambitions. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, Omnifarious acquisition. Plus 33. How much How much empire are we building? Uh, monthly gain. Plus 33. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, please keep an eye on uh, this little bit over here. <laughs> All right. So it's casually making 500 more. <laughs> uh, we're almost making 2,000 minerals a month. Uh, what's this? No, we will destroy the building. 
And we'll send reinforcements to this one as well. These are all just robots. Wow, wondrous planet. And let me guess, there's no... Ah, there's, there's a little bit of stuff here. Let me guess, they've got... Oh no, they're all being killed off. Oh, there's the dynamic core ignition! Oh boy, how how big is this rock? Let me... <laughs> oh, that is the biggest waste of money. Oh, that is hilarious. I love it. I love every single bit of it. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. That is so. Wait, did I lose my other army? Don't tell me I lost my other army. Uh, if they. Hey, uh, so we can. Yeah, I, I know. Wait, why am I losing armies? Where are my where are my plush starties? They, they they didn't all just die, did they? <sighs> Don't worry, we've got we got plush seed. We can we can build a new plush starties army. It's fine. Activate Elgate. It's beautiful. Uh, energy crest, please. Uh, army health. Mm, missiles. Okay, so uh, we got some important stuff to do right now. Uh, let's go to Beetlejuice. Behemoth. There it is. It's going to come online. Trevor's Revenge will be with us. Oh, that's glorious. That is so stupid. I love every single moment of it. Ugh. You, uh, Starbase over here. Oh no, the- Oh! Oh, that beard. Where is this? Oh, I'm bitten as- That is uncomfortably close to my borders. Hmm, I'm not sure if I am a fan of this. At least I got my... Did my blood wavens merge together with the... Uh... Go. I mean, I think my blood... I think my... Blastardis merged with my blood wavens. How curious. 1.8 thousand. Now we're talking. The attack moon is like, pff, I can't do any orbital bombardment. Oh no, the mutagen is gone. Oh, that's bad. The, oh, there's a gateway in here as well. Like, we can take these fleets, but you know, their sub light speed bonuses are pretty crazy. Are they actually doing a counter attack? Is that what's happening here? Good. How is this? This fleet has almost no firepower on it. I sworn I had a lot more than that. Energy readings. The world arrived. A peculiar moon on a, around a destroyed asteroid. What is this? Well, that was the system we were just in.
That's the archive world, yeah. But those are just uh, Xenos that are on the cusp of being purged now. We got orders. Let's go. <laughs> So we just need to <clears throat> get this uh, system under control and then we should be done. At least with this war. Ah, yes. Okay, so we're making 352 a month again. 2k minerals a month almost. But like I mentioned before... Uh, we need to get our Dyson Sphere online. And that's going to take a little bit of time. Even though we have the, the bonus to... Like, crazy bonuses to build costs and mega structure build speed and whatnot. So, that is all fine. Oh, my, my leader has died. Oh, Nappa! Nappa! Vegeta, what does the scourer say on its power level? What, 9,000? Yay, the orbital will be Elysium is online. So, what we want to do is we want to do some resettling here from our... from our abandoned habitat. go maybe you want to do okay, let me let me have a look here at our let's modify this one more time can we do any rapid breeding on these guys uh quick learners conventional conformists where is there's rapid breeders so we'll just apply this to all of them and this orbital Elysium will then uh, just have rapid breeders on it. And any habitat-based species will just be fine. So that's good. And excuse me whilst I go to my Dyson Sphere, because we have more than enough minerals to deal with it. <laughs> he says. We have to wait two more months. What? The Jomar is now building a Dyson Sphere as well. They already have like 4,000 minerals a month. Oh, that's so annoying. Like well, we got Marauder missiles and all that stuff. Ooh, advanced Starcraft that are completely useless against the Unbidden. Let's get this Dyson Sphere online, shall we? The Iron Age? Wow. Right, okay, so, um, ironically, uh, these guys are good at what again? Minerals. Why are they on energy? Oh yeah, right, we made them strong. Well, they're gonna very strongly have to build, uh, work in the energy production plants for a little while, if you don't mind. Are we doing this optimally? No. Should we be doing this optimally? Yes. Are we going to do this optimally? Probably not. There we go. That fixed that fixes that problem. So now they're also uh, fast breeders, so we actually can get them on on track quicker. Ooh, increased solar output. That is nice. Uh, yeah, the unbidden are being slightly on the proactive side here. That is worrying. So let's just put production targets. Really. Yeah. Uh, we could get Grand Fleet that would improve our economy by quite a lot, but that's not something that I'm too concerned about at the moment. So, we're just going to wrap up this here war. And then, how many troops is this are down here? 300? We can easily take that. Like, even the Battle Moon is here. It's like, yo, what's up? When is... 
When is yeah, this war is gonna be over? When is this done? Oh, so soon. The Behemoth Planet Craft. We're just gonna roll it. Whatever is sitting behind the L gate, we're just gonna roll this straight into it. Yeah, it's gonna be glorious. Hmm. <coughs> Because there's nothing they can do about it. Because that's like, what, 400,000 fleet power, if not more? I still have no idea what's over here, by the way. I don't know. Another mega structure has been completed. I'm actually really happy that the AI is being proactive with mega structures. That's just very cool. Thank you, Xenos. Very cool. Is this the end of the war? Please don't. Oh, there's one more system. Well, only, only, only one more. Is that the end of the war? Oh, there's just one more in here. Okay. And I got no defense. Whoa, what was that? Oh no! My, one of my governors has died after 230 years of service. Uh, was that my main governor? It probably was. Okay, so... It was one of my sector governors. Yes. So, um, scientician. We can get 30,000 minerals from this sector. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Alright, so... Casual 40k uh, minerals. We got all that. Let's go. And that should be the end of this war, I believe. Yes. Good. Alright, then... It is going to be time to wrap up this here episode because the Union of Vazagog has a date with Destiny. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, until next time, take good care of yourselves and as always, each other. <laughs>